No, I mean, uh, I guess we can go back to Oxford. We're nearly home now. I'm not really in the mood. No. I'm not either. Oh, uh, sorry. So I just wanted to get Thomas. Oh. Oh. Uh, Mum said Poppy could stay. Did she? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> ready to, um, if you want my opinion, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but um, that there can only be room for one alpha male in, in any home. What's that mean? It means that in um, any household, there's only room for one sexually active man. Well, lucky Brendan's here, then, eh? Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. I mean, they just want to know how you think. And you think great. OK, come on. Hey, good luck. Mm. Go on. Huh? Hey, those Riri's are in there. Oh, yeah, and another thing. Why didn't you tell me you'd left the band? Oh, not the band. Sorry? I haven't left it. What's the matter with it? Well, Billy thinks you have. He called me. I think he returned his phone calls every now and again. Well, all right, then. That's good. That means I'm free tonight. I don't have to play at the carnival. It's <sighs> not what he means. Daddy? Well, it's what he says. Oh, that's fine. It's one thing sorted. I'm not in the band anymore. What time is it? Oh, we should be there. What? Kate! Oh, she's got to do it on her own. Oh, for heaven's sake, am I not allowed to worry about my own daughter now? <clears throat> Go away! <sighs> Come on. All oh, right, happy? I'm answering the telephone. Arnold. William, I'm sorry to call you when you're away. Well, I'm not anymore, so don't worry about it. Oh, Mrs. Nixon. The lady we collected yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, I was washing the body yesterday evening, and uh, I found something I think you ought to know about. I said no playing football inside. Oh, Mum. Come on in, Thomas. Let's go play in the garden. Hello. Competitions. Competitions. Lots of competitions. Are you okay? Um, no, I'm not. But it's not that sort of day, is it? I didn't see them at first. They had makeup put on over them. Definite puncture marks. Yep. Yeah. And they had trouble finding the vein. Yeah. But it's not inexpertly done. No. And you know, Mr. Nixon was a bondsman in the guards. Yeah. Bondsman double his medics, all bondsmen. Two doctors have signed off on her. Oh, I agree. But unfortunately, I told Jane, and she thinks we should report it. Where is she? William, I I'm sorry. I won't be persuaded. You and Arnold visited that house once. We know nothing about this woman, nothing about the family. Well, well no. We know the husband's trained to give injections. And as I said to Rick, the makeup, the concealment, the location, and the fact that the husband wants a combination makes me absolutely adamant we'll report this. Jane, if just one of us feels this way, then obviously, of course, we're reporting. But two doctors certified Mrs. Nixon as having died from Parkinson's and acute bronchiolomania. Uh, and we don't know that those puncture marks played any part in her death. We don't know they didn't either. Jane, if we go to the police, there's a process, and there's no stopping it. You'll be inflicting an autopsy, a court case, the papers. So she was killed before her time. You don't mind. Oh, the people are helped to die every day. By doctors, maybe. Jane, I was in their house. Only once, as you say, and for a very brief time. But my instinct, having been there and met Mr. Nixon, is to let this go. Mr. Nixon's here. Thank you. I, um... 
registered the, the death. Thank you. Please have a seat. Uh, no, thank you. I also got in touch with my old regiment, and they offered to send some bandsmen to play at the funeral, oh. though they can only make the day after tomorrow, and I would prefer it sooner rather than later. Uh, yes, of course, that's no problem. And a slogan for nappies, like, because your baby's bum deserves the best. <laughs> Something like that. Six words. Obviously want something snappy. Pay attention. This is for a holiday for two in Jamaica. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Do you like a manly one? Go, think, think nappies. They're full of shit. I'm entering that. No. They will be full of shit. <laughs> Hi to the deadly black tarantula. Do you like a man with one go home? Hi! Jane! What happened? Oh, not much. He uh, wants the funeral the day after tomorrow. Where's Jane gone? I don't know. Is that a good idea? Why? Mrs. Nixon's the same age as Molly. Nixon's by now. She's reported it, hasn't she? 